This is a brief tutorial to get us thinking about maps. The first thing we want to do is understand that maps are simplifications of the landscape that are designed to attract the reader to key features or key locations that are within the context of the study or the work that we're presenting. In this tutorial, we're going to look very briefly at categorical maps, and we're going to use a black and white and a color map to discuss the role of categories in displaying key features for the reader. The first thing that we want to be aware of is that maps are a very quick way to get the reader's attention about specific features on the landscape and also to orient the reader to key information that's trying to be relayed in the map and to put that information into geographic context. Categorical maps use shapes and or colors to differentiate key features for the reader. So we can break information into categories and use those categories to quickly show the reader what's important about the map. To illustrate this, let's take a look at a basic grayscale map. From this map, we can see several features. We can see a white outline that's telling us something about boundaries. And we can see that there are different shapes on the map, such as circles, squares, and triangles. And we can also see that there are some topographic features highlighted on the map. Here I'm just selecting some of them with the yellow pencil just to illustrate. So on this map, we can see that there's features here as circles, these dots here, and features here as squares. So here we can differentiate two different types of events being indicated by two different shapes. Now, let's look at that map in color. When we look at it in color, we can still see those same features here, here, here. And we can see that different features are describing different events based on different shapes and colors. In this example, we're illustrating an anthrax outbreak in wildlife that happened in Montana in 2008. We have four different events being described on this map. First, we have the initial outbreak here, which was bison. This was the first set of cases. We have the second set of bison cases. We have the third group of bison cases. And then our fourth event is this set of red stars, which are our elk cases. So just by looking at the map, we can very quickly see we have four different events that are happening, or four different categories on the map. Let's very quickly make some generalizations about the map just using those categories. First, we can see that we had three separate bison outbreak events. Second, we can see that elk events were more spread out or dispersed than bison. If we take advantage of that elevation that we can see, elk events 
seem to be higher in elevation. So let's make some quick notes about categorical maps based on this example. First, shapes and colors can quickly separate spatial events for the reader. So the reader can very quickly glance at the map and see that different things are happening in different places. Shapes and colors can provide a lot of information quickly, and those pieces of information can draw the reader's eye to specific location or important differences on the map. Here we looked at concentrated bison events and dispersed elk events during an anthrax outbreak. So those colored dots, squares, and triangles quickly showed us three separate bison outbreak events, while the red stars showed us a dispersion of elk events. And we saw that elk cases appear to be higher in elevation than bison cases. So looking at the distribution of those stars, those red stars, over the top of that elevation map allowed us to quickly show the reader that the elk cases happened at a different elevation than the bison cases. So categorical maps are used to quickly differentiate events in space by specific categories. Now we didn't do anything about quantity. We didn't indicate outright whether there were more bison than elk but we can quickly show where the bison cases happen and where the elk cases happen.